quarters update. Let's take one more look at that track hurricane by tomorrow morning. It's right now has winds of about 50 miles per hour, but it looks really good. Cat 2, once it gets into the Caribbean, right now there is a hurricane watch for Barbados. That'll go up to a warning. Forecast models kind of west-northwest right across the Caribbean, and then maybe a little bit more towards the west. Let me show you that high pressure. This is what's steering it. It's floating around and underneath this big area of high pressure. So if there's a weakness here, it would go further to the north. So what happens? Well, let's go out through about Wednesday. That high starts to build back to the west a little bit. Great news for us because that keeps it down to the south, but then it weakens a little bit and it tries to come back up a little bit more. Meanwhile, there's the second system, so let me show you that. This is the first one we're watching. That has a 50% chance of developing at this point. Very similar track. This is Tuesday. There's our system south of Hispaniola. There's Jamaica. Another one about the same area, although not quite as strong. We'll have to watch it. The white lines are the GFS. The European says that it develops, or, but the GFS says it develops. The European's not so bullish on it, but the GFS does weaken everything as it moves further to the north. So right now, Florida looks good. Great news for us, but things are getting active and should stay that way through next week. Thank you, Bobby. Well, speaking.